Let's stir up the sochika halva. The semolina dessert is so easy to make and really delicious. What you need for this is one cup of suji or semolina, two cups of sugar, four cups of water, three quarters cup of ghee or melted butter, quarter cups of mixed nuts, today I'm using almonds, pistachios, and raisins, seven to 10 cardamom pods, one teaspoon kevra essence, one teaspoon food coloring. So let's get started. You're gonna take two pans, put them over medium flame. In one, you're going to boil your water along with the sugar to make it a sugar syrup. Now you just wanna bring this to one boil, so just stir the sugar um, and then just let it boil. In the other pan, you're gonna heat it over medium to high flame. And once the pan is hot, I'm just putting my hand on top just to make sure it's heated. And then you're going to dry fry the suji, the semolina in there. Now this is essential you do this because that way once you make the halva, the suji doesn't have a raw taste. So this is just a tip. So continuously stir this for about five minutes and then you can um, see that the suji is cooked and you can keep it aside in a bowl, just clean the pan and put it back on the stove and then add your ghee. Keep it on medium flame still. Once you add your ghee or melted butter, what we're gonna do is um, just coarsely chop our almonds and pistachios. You can certainly use cashews as well, I just didn't have them at home today. And then you're gonna fry this for just about two minutes. You do not want to over fry the nuts because then they'll be um, burnt. You don't wanna have that taste in the whole bus. So again, for about two minutes, and you can see our water is boiling in the other pan. Perfect timing to add our food coloring. This is optional, but I like to add that color. Um, and then we can add our cardamom pods in the water as well for the fragrance. And in the other pan, we're adding our raisins at the end. Now we don't add the raisins at the beginning because raisins um, fry really fast and puff up. So you just add them and then fry for another minute. That's all you need. And now the most important step, we're gonna fry our suji in the nuts and the ghee mixture. Now this is so important guys, five minutes non-stop stirring. Your arm may hurt, but put on that Fitbit, get your points and it's worth it. You do not wanna mess up this step. There's no shortcut to this. You gotta fry this really, really, really well. After five minutes, it should look like this, like a light brown. And you know the suji is done. You can smell the greatness of it. Now slowly add your water syrup, first only half of it, stir in the suji, and then you're gonna add the remaining half of the water sugar syrup. This is a great tip I got from my mom because that way the water doesn't all splash on the face or all over your stove. So just be really careful doing this. Now you can see this looks liquidy, but trust me, the suji will puff up so fast in the water and it'll start cooking really well. This should take another five minutes. Um, and there you go, it's pretty much ready. You can enjoy this um, with halva puri, which is a national Indian or Pakistani breakfast, or you can have it at dessert or just with uh, chai tea. Um, as you can see, this is ready to go. Just keep it aside and once it's on room temperature, it'll thicken itself. Here is a serving I've just garnished with some more nuts on top. Once again, I'm putting uh, the ingredients up for you to screenshot. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more easy to follow recipes. Till next time, keep stirring it up.